Hey, how you doing? I thought it would be quicker just to do this in the video rather than do it with charts. Uh, hopefully you can just take me a minute or two. So this is our, our friend the DAX. Here's the point where it went up and this is kind of like a QM level if we're looking at where this is going to go next and this is a nice cap up here. Um, let's have a look. There's the M5. I've noticed this is a, a decision point to break this. I know this is a nice one down here as well. So I'm going to mark that one in two, and I think they're both kind of important. Let me just change my time frame so it goes forwards. Yeah, so you see they both, like this one here, holds it up there. This one here holds it up here, which makes a decision point in there, and that's a nice decision point for this one too. So let's go down onto the one minute and look inside, and you'll see these are, again, these are nice decision points there. So when we come back across, so it gets held up, held up. You see that this here, this decision point in there, gets the FTR comes back to it, so it decides, comes back, uh, drops off there. So that's a nice FTR, so a good place to look for shorts. And there's the dog whining. But also, the second one gets broken here. Uh, that's the tiny little decision point to actually break it, kind of, sort of, I guess. Um, but also, if this is seen as the decision to come down here and there you get the FTR um, this is as well as being a nice FTR into a decision point it's a decision point itself you see where I'm going so this whole area is a good place to look for our shorts I think when uh, when things come back up here so that's it there you go part of the roadmap I guess